Hi, <clears throat> Kit with DE Shave Talk with Kit. I'm going to do an interesting video today. You're not going to see my face, and you wouldn't want to because I've had uh, uh, cancer surgery uh, on my nose. My eyes are swollen up, and I'm doing uh, a 10 day chemo treatment on the cancer spots on my head. So, you don't want to see me today, so I'm going to do a video. <clears throat> Just like this with the one camera shot. Now, what I'm doing is introducing you to my brand new Yaki brush. This is the Yaki uh, Barber Pole um, Mew Brown Knot 24 millimeter synthetic brush, uh, and it is uh, really a beauty. And I selected this brush today to review, not alone because it's great. Uh, I have the Yaki uh, Purple Haze Mew Brown knot also with this knot. And uh, I knew it was an excellent knot and I knew it would make an excellent lathering technique review that I've learned uh, after, uh, say, a year and a half of uh, lathering uh, and with DE shaving, uh, uh, let's say I've learned a, a, a few tricks. And why am I uh, so? Look at that beauty. It's a. Uh, it has beautiful soft tips about the backbone, almost the backbone of a tuxedo, just slightly less. Beautiful smooth brush. Uh, it's a PR7 on my index, if you've seen any of my videos where I explain the PR index so that you guys know what, uh, what these brush knots are like before you purchase them. Anyway, this is a PR7. It's a uh, good lathering brush and a good painter brush, uh, a fabulous brush. It has, a, uh, in the scheme of things, little bit longer handle than some uh, is comfortable it's easy to hold and it has that beautiful mew brown knot so let's get into the demo here of how this thing lathers and what I want to show you about what I've learned about lathering okay I pre-warmed my uh, Crown King Skittle. It's nice and warm now. And I'm gonna, as you know, with synthetics, you don't need to, you don't need to pre-soak them, but you do need to get them wet first. <clears throat> get it wet in the warm water there. And then I'll go ahead and drain that out now. Okay, so I got, I got the wet brush. And <clears throat> how many of you have started out bowl lathering? You, you uh, load up the brush and, or you put some cream in there and you, you, you make this stack of full scuttle of creamed, creamed up lather and everything. You do your three pass shave and then you throw a half a scuttle of lather away. This is what this hybrid face bowl lathering the video is all about because I'm going to show you a, a way that I have learned to I like to face lather right but I don't like to waste a lot of lather so so let's take for example we'll just start out first with uh, this is a fine um, soap that, I, that you've seen me use many times and I'm going to It's American Blend Fine. I'm going to lather that right up. And uh, the, the way I do it is I go around, around, around both directions and I twist the brush. You'd be surprised if you kind of push up and down and twist how much lather that you pick up that if you don't 
do this twisting motion you don't pick up. So what I typically do is I as I do that and I this uh, the the excess I uh, dump into my scuttle there and then I go back and I, I do it some more. And take this I take this uh, scuttle and I add some water to that and swish it around. I kind of stir it until it's a smooth but more liquid lather. More liquid than I would actually put on my face. Then I go back and now I have created a perfect uh, water level in the brush. I go back to the, I go back to the puck one more time just to grab a little bit more. And then I'll come to my face. Now I realize I'm not showing you my face. I'm using this on my arm. I'll come to my face and I'll and I will have a a, a perfect lather just the right amount of moisture to uh, create a a perfect lather immediately. Now, if I, uh, like in my second and third, when this brush is getting a little drier, uh, I go back and let me rinse this off. After my first pass, I'll go back into the scuttle, and that's warm lather, right? And I'll switch that around. And what I'm doing is rehydrating, rehydrating that brush to the perfect level of hydration for the second pass. I do that for the for the second or third pass. I, it's not that I really need more soap. I need rehydration. And, and if you dip a drying brush into straight water rather than this this uh, really liquid soap that you've bubbled up, what you get is a kind of uh, a randomly diluted soap. But here's here's what my second pass would be like. Perfect, perfect consistency, perfectly hydrated ready to go. So then I, I shave, put it back there, rehydrate the brush in that liquid American blend, and lather up for another perfect layer of perfectly hydrated lather. So that's why I do it that way. Now, here's, here's, here's the kicker. I'm going to rinse out this brush, rinse off my hand. Okay, we're going to start over in a minute. Now, I want you to see here. Not a whole lot of wasted lather. I'm in a little bit in the bottom, but not a full scuttle of lather that I got to dump when I'm done shaving. Just a little bit, rinse that out. Not very much wasted lather there. And yet, I have maintained a perfectly hydrated, perfectly balanced uh, shave lather for three pass shaves, head and face, whatever. Um, without having to add in pure water with no soap in it to to my uh, to my mix, so that's why I call it the hybrid face bull lathering method. I, I really prefer to lather it on the face, but I want the comeback really liquid soap in the warming uh, scuttle to dip in between passes, keeping my brush perfectly hydrated 
perfectly uh, lathered up in the right consistency for each pass. Now, let's say I was going to use uh, my palm olive. Now, I used to put that right on the brush. Now what I do is, uh, uh, you know, I take about <clears throat> this much, <clears throat> and I just uh, put it in the bottom there, and I'm going to I'm going to show you why. Uh, I'm going to take and rather than go straight to the face, I'm just going to do that twisting motion down here. I'm, I'm twisting it in here, getting that fully in there. But I'm not get, I'm not done yet. I'm going to take some some water. I'm going to pour it in there, and just like I did with the American blend. I am going to make a liquid dipping solution here, right? Very, very thin, thinner than I would put on my face. Then I'll take another little dab, another little dab of the of the palm olive, and here we go. Instant, perfect consistency. Look at this brush. Lathering King, baby. And that is one beautiful lather. So, there you go. Now, so I'll rinse this off my hand. That was first pass. Same thing. Go back into the hydrating scuttle because you know you lose water every time you lather in your brush. And that has added water and liquid soap to the mix so that it don't get an overly dry lather the second pass. And the same thing. I'll pick up some more of that liquid, warm palm olive third pass. And as you can see, I I got perfectly hydrated, not too thick, not too heavy, lather. ready to shave away on the third pass. Now, I'm going to do one more time. Rinsing the brush clean of the pub olive. ready to start over. I will rinse the little teeny bit of palm olive that I have left in the scuttle. Now, the reason I'm going to do one more is because uh, lather and wood is a very hard soap. And it requires a little bit of variation here. With this soap, you have to really have some water going in it, so I got that brush pretty dang wet. And it is, I don't know if you can see this, but it is dripping. It is dripping in the scuttle. Now, I found that with a hard soap, uh, that typically isn't real easy to get a lot of lather going. This is the best way to do it. Have a very white, wet, Yaki brush, like this one, and go ahead and let that excess water drip into your scuttle, right? Look at that. Now, what do I have here? I mix it up. And 
and there I have, there I have my uh, liquid that I'm going to dip my brush in for the next three passes, uh, thinner than you would put on your face. So I, I stirred it up there. It's warming up in a scuttle. It'll be warm for all three passes. You know, not I didn't mix up a whole bowl of it or nothing, but I got enough to dip in. So I come back to the come back to the puck just one more time. That's it. I now have enough uh, lather on this brush and enough water and thin soap in this. Uh, scuttle to complete a three-pass shave. Here we go. Look at that brush. You talk about lathering king. And man, on the face, if I, if I didn't look so bad, I'd show you on the face today. But man, man, does, is, that, is that comfortable on the face. What a beauty of a brush. The Yaki 24 millimeter Mew Brown Barber Pole. What a shave brush. Now, look at that lather. Okay, I'm going to rinse it off. That was first half. I already got my liquid lather and wood just sitting there. Waiting for me, baby. Second pass. I just dipped it in there to rehydrate the brush and pick up, you know, a little liquid soap to keep my soap in a liquid consistency that I like to paint it on. And there we go. Second pass. Put the brush back in there. Run it around a little bit more. Pick up the blather and we're going for... We go for the third pass lather. Nice and liquidy hydrated. And at, when you do it like this, if you want a little bit thicker lather, you just uh, you just uh, scrub it on the face a few more seconds, and it'll it'll give you exactly what you want. So that's my video for today. Uh, now let me show you here. I'm going to rinse this brush off just just to make the point. Now normally if I was uh, shaving my head or my face, I would have used more of the lather in the brush. And then I would have picked up more of the lather in the skittle. And there would have been less, less left, left in that skittle than there is now. And there's only a little bit left. So uh, I'm not throwing away a half a bowl of shave soap yet. I have made perfect consistency in my ladder for a three pass shape without wasting a ton of your soap. So you can do that with your palm olive cream, you can do that with your hard to lather hard soaps, you can do that uh, with your uh, with your fine American blend. I, I didn't touch on I was going to do it, but I think I proved the point. I was going to try to do it with the Razor Rock. It would have been about like the fine as far as how it works. So I hope you uh, I hope you all got the uh, the point there. And I hope you enjoyed this Yak E 24 millimeter Mew Brown brush. It's a dream. Now, off camera, I'm going to use one of these soaps to do a shave and I'll post the video later. Thanks for uh, watching. I appreciate my subscribers so much. You just don't know. And uh, I hope that you subscribe so I can see you next time. This has been Kit with DE Shave Top with Kit. I'm out.